Well, hello. Uh, you find me in the kitchen because I've been doing some cleaning today, getting all the surfaces organised. Um, we have some visitors coming up from Corpus Christi this weekend, so um, trying to get a little bit tidy and organised because we're going to have house guests. So I've been busy. I've been at work all day, you know. So it's it's quite a lot. Um, and I am starting a little landscaping job as well this weekend, so I'm going to be very busy. This I think spring is starting, everybody wants their plants, their landscaping, so I'm helping some friends with landscaping and planting. Work is kind of hectic because everybody wants their plants. Um, we're into spring, what do you expect, you know? So, but I do try and have a little time off, so tomorrow I will have, uh, I'll finish probably early. We normally do a, a bit early on a Friday and then come home and just have a relax and spend some time at home with the family. Um, and then back to it on Saturday, helping some friends with some landscaping. So yes, I've got my rags out and I've been scrubbing and just making it all nice, you know. Not that it isn't anyway, but just that little extra effort. Um, so yeah, uh, not much else has been happening this week. Uh, I did have a few um, messages and comments about my stove top. So if you want to look at my lovely stove top, shall we take a look in detail? Let's have a look. Well, um, this is the stove. Let me show you. So it's, uh, so, oh, I don't even know myself, Z-Line, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a gas stove. Um, I have this kind of vent. Oh, look at that. Here's an old picture for you. Uh, this came from my grandmother's house back in Wales. She always had it as you came into the um, kitchen, as you walked in. So I thought, and I got it after she passed. And it's, uh, my grandmother was English. She was from Sussex, Kent. Sorry, Sussex, near Kent. Uh, my granddad was from Kent, but there's an old, uh, I don't know who painted it. There's an old depiction of the harvest of the cornfield or the barley or something like that. It's beautiful, always have it in our little kitchen. Um, so that's just a taste of home for me, seeing that, beautiful. Little country lane in the background. Is that a mill pond? Looks like. Beautiful. But there's um, there's the fan. Let me see if I can put it on for you. Ooh, these little buttons. Just to get that. Uh, there you go. It's pretty powerful. I have to shout. We oh, have to shout. See? It goes up. Up. I don't hear me anymore. There you go. Uh, yeah off now but here is the stove um i i was gonna show you and it's uh let's me try and turn it on it's all gas so there you go so you can see some gas power there look at that we do like our gas so i'll turn that off but there, we have this kind of little, little kind of grilling thing as well and you can see you can grill your bacon, your steaks and stuff, and uh, it collects all the fat there so you can drain that. But it's under this little, um, another gas burner. That one's really powerful. So I'm not gonna do it, cause I'm holding it up, but it is strong. And what I often do is put a plate on here. So when I've done the bacon and stuff like that, not very healthy, I should do it in the oven. I put, then I'll do the eggs in the pan. And we've got these kind of cast iron pans that we use. Um, then I'll um, put 
put a plate on there and put the bacon on top and stuff that's already done and cook the eggs and then put this on and it'll just keep it warm. It's probably not good. I could probably crack the plate, but I haven't done that in, how long have we been here? Two years. So that's that. So there's the stove. That is my beautiful stove. So yes, um, it's nice, right? It's nice to cook in. I do so much on here. It's nice to have six hobs. You know, back in Wales, we always had four. Grandma, both grandmas, Grandma Golubioski and Grandma Lloyd, they had gas stoves and then Mam, she didn't. She had um, electric growing up in the 80s. That's what we had. Uh, then so, but Mam did eventually get a gas hob. Now our oven, our cooker, as we call them in Wales, our cooker, there's the cooker and the microwave uh, combined. So that's electric, but it's separate, you know? So the gas stove is here and the fan, as you saw, but the, the cooker is separate. So that's kind of unusual, isn't it? You're kind of used to a cooker being combined, you know? Uh, so we have cooker, microwave, and uh, stove top. So it's all, sorry, I was, I was smiling a little bit because my little boy came in the video and he doesn't want to be in the vlog, does he? Maybe he does. Uh, nonsense. Um, <laughs> there you go. You got to see my son in my little vlog. But there you go. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> he's all technical with all this modern vlogging and internet and all that business you know he helps me out a lot to be fair isn't it funny you get to that certain age where technology like I always remember helping grandma and my aunties my great aunts and grandparents with their technology even my dad you know my brother helps my dad with the computer side of stuff so it's and my dad said to me the other day it comes full circle doesn't it it's uh now I'm getting my kid to help me, you know, you'll get to an age and his kids will help him. So it's, it's funny, isn't it? I think, thinking about it, doesn't technology just, it just keeps evolving and evolving. I guess the brain slowed down a little bit. I don't think that's always the case because my mother-in-law, you know, she's uh, old obviously than me, um, but she's on the ball with it all. So I don't know. Maybe you've just got to train your brain and spend the time. And I don't know if we get to a certain age where we just don't feel inclined. I think you do get to a certain age. You know, my grandmother, bless her heart, she was um, 93 when she passed away. Um, but, you know, that maybe there's a limit and she got to that state. But like my great aunts, they were in uh, their 80s when they passed. But even then, my great auntie Margaret, uh, she was talking about getting a laptop. So anyway, I'm waffling. Uh, I'm going on a tangent. Not much else happening. Like I say, I've got landscaping. It's kind of getting to spring. I do want to show you something quickly, if you will indulge me. Remember I showed you my bird feed out there in the tree that was hanging down and I've been buying them and they've been just rummaging on it. Just a little plastic thing, just like a bell, if you remember, hanging down with nuts. Well, I've bought a new bird feeder. Um, I bought it probably a week ago, but nothing has touched it. Let's take a look. I'll just show you quickly if, if, if you want. Oh, sorry, just a quick look. There's the pantry and the, the kind of utility room. Just wanted to show you that. Bit of a higgledy-piggledy, but yeah, that's my kitchen for you. You've seen it all now. Um, but yes, and obviously, the picture up there from great grandma great grandma, grandma Lloyd one of the grandmas um, but yeah let's go and take a look at the bird feed and see what's going on there okay so uh, if you recall just over here I've put that bird feeder up um, and I've put a new one it's like a, a little net sack of seed the daffodils are starting to fade look maybe we'll get a few more I don't know we're probably past it now They'll be back. We had some flowers, so that's nice. Just in time for St. David's Day, as I showed you. Uh, there was that little shrub I showed you, yeah. So look, what do you think? Do you think I'm wasting my time? 
I see the seeds, it's like little black seeds. And they say it's good for the birds, but I haven't seen nothing on it. Maybe it's where you're at, you know, maybe the, uh, it's in the persimmon tree. But still, that feeder, it was e more easily accessible. Maybe it's just designed for a certain type of bird that maybe we don't get. I don't know. I feel like splitting it open and putting the seeds on a little tray and seeing what happens. Um, a lot of noise down there. I think they're building a the house. Hear it? Gosh, down that way. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. What should I do with this little black seed? I don't even know what it is. It's meant to be good for the birds, but yeah. Anyway, so that's what's happening with the bird feeder. Aeroplane coming over now. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. There you go, folks. Uh, not much else to report this week. Um, like I say, I'm busy landscaping and stuff like that. Sorry, my camera works terrible. <laughs> But hope you're all well. Uh, please, you know, subscribe if you can and like. And uh, we'll see what happens on the weekend. And I'll give you a report. And uh, I wouldn't mind showing you the landscape in a bit more detail. Um, remember I was out in um, Stonewall and we had the blue bonnets? I'd like you to show you some more of those over the weekend. So maybe I'll do that. But they are more vibrant out here for some reason. But anyway, all right. Ta-ra. Bye.